569 delegates from 49 countries and 13 CEOs are seated here to discuss the way they can make the aviation industry in Africa much better and grow it to greater heights. But some of the challenges that have stretched from the first annual general meeting to today's 55th are still persistent because of the recurring unfavorable policies and that is what they want changed from the resolutions in today's meeting. For the issue of visas on the continent, uh, I think that matter is a matter of concern which we should be addressing. Uh, why should we still have, why should I still need a visa to go to Rwanda? Why should I still need a visa to go to Tanzania? Africans are performing dismally. They are not able to travel simply because our costs are too high. They are prohibitive. The infrastructure is not there. The industry is growing, at least according to the report by the association's secretary general. African Airlines carried 67 million passengers, a 55.8% growth in 2022, despite the COVID-19 pandemic disruption. AFRA estimates the revenue loss for 2022 at $3.5 billion, 20% of 2019 revenues. This will narrow down to $1 billion in 2023. Vice President Jessica Alupo, who officiated at the event, advised the experts to resolve some pressing issues like excessive long journeys within Africa and financial and environment sustainability, among others. As a country, we have uh, intentions to improve and also increase the number of aircraft. We are committed to investing in the national career and to facilitate her expansion within Africa. So we've engaged because we've been asking for certain routes and they're saying until you sign on to this certain, you will not come the way you want. So that has given us an opportunity to speak to government and tell them we're ready to sign because we also want to tap into that, that, uh, that market. The meeting continues into its third day on Tuesday where resolutions will be presented for adoption. Walter Mwesije, NTV.